Cricket is a bat and ball game played between two teams of 11 players on a field at the center with a wicket. It is generally believed that cricket started as a children's game in the southeastern countries of England during the medieval period. However, there are claims the game was played even before that. Since the cricket cranes will be taking part at the ICC T20 World Cup in June, Davis Turinawe, the development manager at Uganda Cricket Association, tells us about the game of cricket. Yeah, so this is actually a gentleman's game in that not at any one time will ever find us in contact with each other. So I'm here, the bowler balls from this far away from me, okay. Uh, the fielders are not uh, in your face, they're also standing far away. You know, we're, we're all classy, we're all gentlemen. One team gets to ball, another team gets to bat. At the end of the day, they swap. The guys bowling come and do the batting, and the guys who are batting go and do the bowling. And uh, it's a score to be chased at the end of the day. Cricket is played on an open field like this one in Logogo here. It's, uh, we usually call it an oval, but it's actually not an oval. The pitch is actually 22 yards long. Uh, one end of the pitch has basically uh, where the batsman scores runs from. Uh, we have uh, a batting crease, that is where the batsman actually prepares to receive a delivery from the bowler. At the back of the batsman, there's usually uh, three sticks, I'll call them pegs. <coughs> and one of the key roles of the batsman is to make sure these are never disturbed. Okay. So, ideally, the bowler's target, <coughs> excuse me, is actually knock over these, these stumps, okay? The batsman's target is to make sure these are never disturbed, they should always remain intact. Each player on the field has different roles, as Trinaway explains. As a batsman, you have basically two duties. One, to score runs, okay? Which is making sure that you get something on the board what we'd call scoring goals, for example, in football. So the bowler will always run in from this end and bowl towards the batsman on the other side. Okay? Okay? Then the other nine players try and cover spaces in this vast, vast space. When it comes to scoring and the rules of the game, here are some you should be acquainted with. There's, there's three ways you can actually score in cricket. Uh, one, you can hit the ball and then uh, complete runs. So at any one time, there are two batters batting. There will be one at this end, where the bowler is coming from. That is called the non-striker. For obvious reasons, he's not the one striking the ball. And then there is the striker, the one who is facing, ready to receive the ball. Now, for them to have completed a successful run, they must all run and get at least part of their body or their equipment over the batting crease okay and they can continue doing that as long as the ball has not been returned to the wicket keeper or to the ball on this side who is in position to break the wicket uh, the batter strikes the ball and runs all the way along the floor and crosses that that boundary that is given automatic four runs is if the batsman hits the ball in the air and over the boundary line without it touching any other part of the ground which means bouncing inside that is given automatic six runs. Talking about the different formats and what Uganda plays, Turinawe had this to say. Uh, 20 over cricket is just half the game, it's about three hours. 20 overs per side, so each side has 20 overs to try and score as many runs as possible. Then there's a 50 over cricket which we're playing on the National League at the moment. Uh, it's, it's a slightly longer version than T20. Then of course there's a first class cricket, the test cricket, which takes four or five days to play. T20 is a fast game, so expect the ball to be flying a lot either along the floor or in the air. So look out for very many fours and many sixes. Then there are the dismissals, how to get out. We haven't talked about it. We only spoke about this being disturbed. But you can also hit the ball in the air within the bounds of the ground. And the ball is held. And uh, you can also be dismissed that way. That is caught out. In 20 over, each team has one innings. So you get to bat once. Innings is basically when each team has had a chance, all the players have had a chance to bat, or their offers have been completed. And then the other chance also, their team also comes and has, has its innings. The game of cricket was introduced in Uganda over 70 years ago by the colonial community. And later on, Ugandans picked interest with two Ugandans, John Walusimbi and the late John Nagenda, playing for East Africa at the World Cup 
1975. Since 1998, when Uganda became an associate cricket country, the sport in Uganda has grown. The country has taken part in numerous ICC events, the biggest one and highest one being the upcoming ICC T20 World Cup in June 2024 in West Indies and USA, where Uganda will make her maiden appearance. Grace Joyce Kemgisa, UBC News.